Hello everyone, it's Angie. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're doing well. Super excited. I have, I'm always super excited though, aren't I? Have you ever, have I ever started a video and said, eh, I'm bored, I'm over it? No, I don't. I'm always super excited when I come on here. So I have two Diamond Art Club diamond paintings to unbox for you today. Um, these are both relatively new releases. Um, they were pre-orders and they just shipped. I just got them today. So yeah, I don't think this, you know, um, other than I don't know if these were available for like uh, sneak peeks or anything. I don't really recall, but I want to show you what I got. So these are both round kits. Yay. So excited about that. We will start with this one. And I think some of you guys might be surprised to see what I got um, because these are a couple of images that maybe um, you wouldn't think that I would order. So let's get in here. And I'm trying to branch out a little bit and, and kind of broaden my horizons. And I've been doing a pretty good job of that lately. So, ooh, I got finally um, got one of the new toolkits. So this is the new toolkit uh, container. If you are not, haven't seen it yet, um, it's a sealed bag. I'm just gonna, just because I haven't gotten one of these yet, I'm gonna open it up and just briefly take a gander at it and see um, what it's all about. So hold on for just a minute. It's a resealable zipper thing closure. So what have we got? What do we got? We've got, a bunch of baggies, a yellow sparkly pen, a caddy with your heart-shaped wax, and you've got two squares of, or two heart shapes of wax. I think you've always gotten two from DAC, but now they come with their own little caddy, which is nice because waxes do dry out when they're sitting. Uh, squishy for your pen, a, what is this? Is this a stopper for my tray? It is. So I've got a sparkly tray with a funnel and it has a stopper that goes with it. Cool, all right. Uh, Multi-placers, a four and a seven, which is what we used to get. But then, now we get cover minders and look at the beautiful cover minder I got. <gasps> I love it. That is so pretty. Yes, that is very nice. It has a nice big magnet on the back. Um, very nice, cute. So I like that. That was a nice little toolkit. I'm gonna to set that cover minder off to the side before I put everything back in here. So let's get into the diamond painting and see what it is. I won't open up the other toolkit, but I just wanted to see, you know, I hadn't gotten one yet and I just wanted to see what it was all about. So let's get into the diamond painting. And this is a really nice size diamond painting. This is going to be um, something that isn't going to take a month of Sundays. That was one of my grandma's favorite sayings. A month of Sundays and busier than a cat covering up on a tin roof. Those were two of her favorite sayings. Uh, I loved my grandma. Um, so we have 40 colors. It's a full drill round. Obviously it's a full drill. I don't think DAC does partials. But it is Faces of Fairy 208 by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. 51 by 51 centimeters. What a nice size. I love it. Now you have to keep in mind that with round diamond paintings, when you're looking at the canvas without any drills on it, it's not nearly as spectacular as when you look at like say a square diamond painting canvas without any drills on it, just because of the way that they print the symbols. But this is very, very cute. I do I am a fan of Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I have not done a lot of her stuff, um, but I do like it. But this one is one that I thought was especially cute. I liked the bugs, the butterfly and the dragonfly here. Um, and they're kind of mechanical looking. I'll show you a picture of the image. I just want to test the stickiness of the canvas because my last one was a little bit weird, um, but this feels normal. It feels, but of course you can't tell for sure until you put drills to canvas, but it feels fine. So like I said, 40 colors. Um, also you have your step-by-step -step guide to diamond painting in case you don't know. And okay, here is a large 
um, picture of the image. So that's what it's going to look like when it's completed. And I just thought she was so cute. I really like, mostly I liked the bugs, to be honest with you. I liked the dragonfly and the butterfly. And um, then the, what is this guy? I don't know what that is with that big wing right there. Is that a big moth? Or is that another butterfly? Not sure, but I like how they're kind of mechanical looking and I liked all the sparkles. So I hope we have some ABs in there to bring out the sparkles in her hair and here in the butterfly wings. Let me take a look. Yes, we definitely have ABs. We have three ABs. So you can tell that because on this list, these are pre-scored stickers that have your, um, have your symbol to put on your drill storage containers or baggies, whatever, however you choose to kit up your diamond painting. Um, if you have a DMC number that's less than 150, that means it's an AB drill. And AB means Aurora Borealis. It has a special coating on it that makes them iridescent and shimmery and it reflects all kinds of other colors. So those are a little bit special of drills. And I just mentioned that because there are some people who are new to diamond painting and might, and I have had questions when I've kind of glossed over that in the past. I have had people who have had questions about it. So I just wanted to be thorough. So 40 colors for this size diamond painting is quite nice. Um, we've got gray. And I don't know that I'll, you know what, what the heck? We've got time. I'll just, I'll show them all to you. You guys don't have anything else to do, right? Oh, I love this color palette. This is just such an Angie color palette right here. So we have a taupe, a dusty orange, two mints, sagey mints. They're not like a bright mint. A very light rose, bay, another beige, rust color, like a brownish gray, cream, light gray, another cream, dark brown, rose, blue gray, dark brown, very light gray, army green, dark gray, a lighter army, like an olive green, and then another dark gray. Now we'll get to the, maybe the more fun colors here will be in this other strip, our pops of color. I'm gonna have a hard time deciding which of these I wanna work on first. I am gonna work on one of these two right away. I'm just not sure which. So then we have a mauve, a couple of oranges, just a teeny little bit of black, not much black at all. Some um, teal, some rust, a couple of, and a gold, lilac purple, tangerine, and here are our AB drills. So we have white, peach, and pink AB drills. And you can see that they have that multicolored sparkle on them. So very cute. There's not much of any of them, but I don't think you need a lot. You just want to highlight. Then we have more peaches and pinks, a little bit of drab olive green. Oh, this was our other AB. Boy, that one drill was so sparkly. I thought it was an AB and it wasn't. This is the other pink AB. Sorry about that. These two, well, how did I screw that up? Okay, so this is just the white AB right here. And then here are the other two ABs. Sorry about that, I misquoted. They were so sparkly, I couldn't quite tell. <laughs> uh, beige and another orangey color. So these are, these. Co this color scheme is right up my alley and I really like it. Um, I'm happy with the size. I'm looking forward to doing something that's not such a monumental undertaking of a diamond painting. And I'm looking forward to doing something in round. So very nice. That is the first one that I got. You know what I didn't notice in my box? And maybe it's flopping around in there. Is I didn't, I didn't, there it is. You do also get this small sticker for your, um, outside your box if you want to for identification or you can put it in your log book it says or anywhere you like my favorite thing to say is on your forehead stick it to your forehead if you want yep can you just see my, me running around with stickers all over my forehead her eyes are going to be so pretty yes i really like her the way her eyes are done very very nice very nice i'm excited to do this one it's a little bit 
out of my wheelhouse and I'm uh, happy to try it. So that is the first one. Now let me get to the second one. Slide this away real quick. It is currently Friday evening. I'm probably gonna, I already put out a video today, but I'm probably gonna put this one out right away just because these were pre-orders that kind of just went out and got delivered and maybe people are looking at them um, now that they're in stock, perhaps to order. So I think I'll just put this one out right away, even though I already did put out a video today. But it's Friday. I'm waiting for Maddie to arrive. I've got lasagna in the oven. We're going to have a nice home-cooked meal. So it should be a good weekend. So we've got another new toolkit. I'm not going to open that one up because we already saw one. So we don't really need to see another one. Other than that, there's probably a different cover minder in there. but will you know i'll be surprised put it let's put it that way i'll i'll let i'll be surprised when i open it i don't know i'm kind of curious though are you guys curious i'm kind of curious to see what it is what the heck let's just open it up to see the cover minder it's kind of interesting that they're resealable bags but you have to rip that top part off i mean not not bad or good just a, you know just a observation Ooh, pretty it's a rose. Look at that. Very cute. I like what I got. I do, I do. Yep, I think I, I'm pretty happy with both of the cover minders that I got. So cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right, we'll tuck that back away. Put it with my other toolkits here in the drawer. And let's get to this canvas. So I know I'm probably going to get some I don't knows from everybody on this one. And I don't care if you don't like it because I liked it. I feel like it is creepy. It is definitely creepy. And I don't care. It spoke to me and I wanted it. And so I got it. Um, and it is Echoes from the Past by Sylvia Strijic. And it is 56 by 79 centimeters, which is 22 by 31 inches. Perfect, perfect size for me for working on it at my lap desk. Love this size. There are only 27 colors in this. It is a very subdued color palette, which is what I prefer. And it's really, looking at the canvas right now, is not doing the image any justice. So let's take, let me show you a picture of, that's on the, um, sheet the inventory sheet isn't it just it's haunting it's 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 haunting is what it is and i just really like it i don't i'm sure that there will be plenty of you who disagree and that's fine we're all entitled to our own opinion but i really really dig it so this is what i got and it had like i said 27 colors um, and I don't know between the two of these, one of them, I'm going to start up right away. I know I have a lot of stuff going on, but I don't care. I bought them. I'll do them when I want to do them. Um, I don't care if I have 40 diamond paintings kitted up and, um, uh, and working. I, if that's what I want to do with them, that's what I'm going to do with them. So it looks like on this one, we have three AB drills. So I wonder what those are going to be, because it looks to be a little bit of different colors. So you're going to see that this is going to be, like I said, very subdued tones. You got browns, mauves, tons of this mauve color, a lighter mauve, beige, brown, cream. I don't know if that's like 760, no, 644, like an off-white. So that's predominantly the painting right there because that's the that that's where most of your drills are going to be. So those are the colors for the painting predominantly. And now we're getting into the ones where there aren't quite as many. So here's our first AB. We have yellow, butter yellow ABs. And this is quite a big bag. So there's going to be quite a few of these. And I can see from here where they're going to be. They're going to be um, in this coral that's on her face and up in the coral that is um, up above her, on her head. Um, it's just kind of gonna, in, gonna be like 
outlining some of these corals and shells. Another dark brown, a pink, a peachish orange, a light peach, a light orange, rust, some white ABs, some mint green, very light peach, rose, light brown, light peach, off-white, more of a beige than an off-white, burgundy, and then our third AB is this nice blue, and I think that this is going to go in her eye. So she has one eye, it's like, an, it's like occluded, it's like cloudy. Um, her one eye that she does have, and I'm pretty sure that these blue are going to go in her eye. I think that's the only place this blue is going to go. I don't see anywhere else. So yeah, so that's going to be like just this pop of a blue eye sticking out of all of this expanse of browns and creams. I, I love it. I think it's super cool. Um, peach, light blue, baby blue, burgundy, and tan. Not very interesting or bright or you know stunning colors but this is what I like and I um I think that I'm gonna start working on this one right away I think this is the one I mean part of me is saying work on the faces of fairy because it's smaller and I would get it done faster but I have had my eye on this for the longest time and it was a while before I even you know ordered it um but I finally did it and I'm glad I did. I just, I really like her. So that's what I got from Diamond Art Club today. Um, so I hope that you like it. I will put the links to these in the description. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. Hope you guys all have a great weekend. Uh, feel free to drop in tomorrow. Uh, we'll be going live at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I would love to see everybody there. All right. Thanks a lot. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow. All right. Bye, guys.